Hello, everybody. Let's do Don's challenge. Let's do CW's range bag. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. All right. I tried to do this a couple times, but let's see if we can get through this without it being 45 minutes long. This is one of those bucket bags. I forget the name of the company. I'm looking for the tag. I thought there was a, a tag on here, but it's a good heavy bag. Yeah, I don't see it. But they made all kinds of stuff. You can get it in all different kinds of stores for construction workers. Um, put tools in. I've got a couple of them. Most of them are brown, like Carhartt bags. This one just happens to be camouflage. They made cup holders, you know, uh, skirts that went in coffee cups. You put pens in them. They made all different kinds of bags. Anyway, good heavy duty stuff. Good nylon cotton duck, heavy duty straps. Just this one I've had for, for a, a number of years and it's really held up well. I got a small pouch in the front here. I just got a magic marker. I got uh, Hillbilly's knife. I got a clip for the targets. I keep these bags for brass. These are really handy. They're laundry bags for washing delicates and stuff, but they're really handy for brass. So I keep them in the in the bag. What else we got in here? There's a oh, there's a doesn't need to be in there. I've got ear protection everywhere. Little little ear puffs everywhere. I got them stuck everywhere because you don't ever want to be without those, and somebody's always needing them. So they're they're pretty much everywhere throughout this bag. So there's my little front pouch, just stuff I use all the time. Regularly, you want to get your hands on quick. You know, magic marker for marking targets. And then this has got a really nice bag on the inside that's attached. And it's got a glasses pouch for your glasses, which is really nice to have. And then it's got a pouch over here for stuff that you don't want to fall to the bottom, you know, small stuff. And I keep pens, um, wipers, uh, flags, chamber flags, cleaning rod, uh, I got a little wrench in there, extra staples, more hearing protection, pens, a little bit of oil, more hearing protection, there's chamber flag, I got a pad, little pads in here for making notes for my loads, I got some extra batteries for, uh, you know, optical sights and, and hearing protection and stuff that you're gonna, you're gonna need on the range, I got some uh, double A's and nine volt batteries in here, uh, again, pens and pencils, just that, just that kind of stuff. All kinds of small, small things that would fall in. I got a charging cord for my phone. I usually have a battery in here. Um, I had years ago. It uses AA batteries, and it allows you to give your phone or electronic device a quick charge off AA batteries. So it's just a little, a little pouch. I don't see it there, so I pull it out. But a little pouch takes two batteries. It's got a cord sticking off it with a USB. You plug your, your cord into it, plug it into your phone. It won't fully charge it, but it'll give you some juice if you're running really low. Here's my tripod that I use for my spotting scope. Found that a bunch of years ago. Um, it works <clears throat> really good on the bench. This is a Burris 12 to, 12 to 24 small spotting scope. It's, it's good. It's not great. I really need to upgrade to something better. I've had bigger ones. They're just hard to carry, and it's another something to carry. So this one being small, it, it's just nice because it fits in the case here. I always carry a, an extra sandbag because in case I forget my my uh, my sled or something. This I put in here just because I want to try it. This is a fixed 20 power Bushnell scope I used to use for pistol. All right, that doesn't belong in there. These are bullets from yesterday. And get rid of those. This is going on a different gun. Get rid of that. Again, more hearing protection. More hearing protection. These are just an M&M's container with hearing protection in it. You don't see me wear glasses because these things fog up all the time, but I do have some in there. Straps are really, are really handy for all kinds of different things. So I keep them in my range bag. Target dots, just doesn't need to be in there. Target dots by the millions. Here's a blower for blowing out your chamber, keeping your gun cool. More clips on targets. Here's a couple of different styles of 
shell catchers. These work okay on some guns, better on others. Uh, this is a Caldwell. Um, what I find is don't zip them up. The shell casings, if they're really hot coming out of the chamber, they'll actually melt through this. So I leave them open. So all it does is diffuse the velocity and they drop down on the bench and I don't lose the cases. This one here is a different style. It bolts on, it's got a little bitty clip here and I keep one on one gun that I shoot a lot, but I keep a spare one in here. I wish I could just buy these, but I can't find them. Um, and uh, this goes on a, a pick rail and then you slide this on. So I like it. This is a Fiaci, Fiaci, whatever the brand name is there. They work pretty good. I like them. I keep those in the bag. What else we got here? Oh, here's a here's a scope that I took off yesterday. That's going back in the house. Um, a small tripod. I use this for a couple different things. It really doesn't need to be in here because I've settled on that one. But let's let's just get rid of it now. Save myself a little bit of weight because I got a lot of extra stuff in here that I really don't need to be in here. I'm going to date myself a little bit here. Many of you guys probably have never seen these. Some of you guys that have been around have seen them. This is the Chapman tool. This is from before there was all the bits that you could get, all the all the little kits with the 100 bits, and I have that in my, in my ammo box because I don't put any ammo in here per se. Sometimes I'll chuck just something in there to make sure I get it to the range, but by and large, this is just for targets, pasters, carry protection, my, my spotting scope, and that kind of stuff, pens and pencils. The Chapman tool is, it gives you a couple extensions. It gives you a number of different bits and they are a quarter inch, but they're also a, a little hex drive. So they do work a little bit different. And they're, they're a really nice tool, old school ratchet. Um, this is probably the newest iteration of this old tool that's been around. It's got some really nice small proper blades for, for guns, for gun screws. So that stays in here. Again, targets, tape, pasters, tape, very, very useful, always useful on the range. And just tons of, just tons of these, just pasters, 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 tons and tons and tons of those in here. Um, more hearing protection, I told you there's a lot of it in here. Another set of ears, these are uh, magnified ears. We got here. We got a pair of gloves for colder weather. I said there's no ammo in here. Let's get it out of there. Some 22s. Don't need to make this any heavier than it needs to be. I'm getting down to targets. I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Separator targets, and this is just just targets that you know we all have targets, so we like different kinds. Something that I like to do is to fold up bigger targets and. Uh, make a sheet out of them. Here's some bigger pasters. Sometimes you're a little blind, you need a bigger target. Here's some, some fire targets I saved for something. They don't need to be in there taking up space. I got a pouch on the side over here. This is a, a Target bag. Just to have a bag on the range is handy. There's my stapler. I got a, a, a bunch more of these clips. These are handy on some ranges to hold your targets or hold your backers or hold a piece of cardboard. If, uh, if their target is shot up, you can put a piece of cardboard. I usually keep a piece of cardboard when I go to different ranges that I haven't been to um, in the truck. Advil. I keep a first aid kit in my trucks. Okay, so I don't have it in here. Usually my trucks are not far from wherever I am shooting. So I'm not really worried about not having it right here. It's right in my truck. Just some more pasters. These actually were a discontinued product that I think I learned about from Tin Man. I really like these targets. So I like these for, and they're, they're stickers. I like these for uh, when, I, when I shoot a target and I get a good load and it shoots really good and I want to be able to keep it. I use these, I don't stick them on. I tape them on or staple them on. And then I take this off and I stick this in my book for the loads. You know, I book at the reloading bench with all my load information. I take the target, I shoot it, I stick this right on that piece of paper. I've got reference for what I shot with that particular load. Right. 
here. What do we got over here? We got tools. So here we have some Allen wrenches and another kit of screwdrivers and bits. Don't use it all the time, but it's handy to have when you need it. So that's in here. And I keep it in there because you see the, the bits kind of slide out. So I keep it in a plastic bag so I don't lose them. And again, more Allen wrenches. Just handy. I am I tend to usually be uh, have more stuff than I need, more stuff I need to carry. This bag is pretty heavy, but I'll have what we need when we're on the range, most likely. Again, more hearing protection, some hand warmers. We got down in there. We got a rod, a hanging hook for the, for the target. There's another pen. A pen. Oh, a piece of brass. There's a big surprise in a range bag, right? With a piece of brass. And that's all that's in there. Another chamber flag. Can't have enough safety devices, so that's not a big surprise. And there's a screwdriver in there, too. And now we're getting to just basically targets because that's all that's left in here for room. Is just my targets. So I got targets just like everybody else. Um, I like these a lot. Benchrest targets. IBS targets. And some I put pasters on, some I leave. Again, I don't shoot at these normal. I use these for uh, after I've proven a target, or I've proven a load rather, because uh, they're, they're kind of small. You only get a couple targets for the size. Much more pasters. Here's some bigger pasters, some bigger pasters, some giant, giant pasters. Bigger targets. And basically, we're just going to be into targets now. Big. I really, I don't like Optics Planet as a company. They're a pain in the ass to deal with, but they make some really nice targets. I like their targets. Some more targets, some more pasty stickers. Typical 100 yard targets, some bigger 100 yard targets, here's some fold out silhouette man targets, and now we're to the bottom and we just got some some old, old shot up targets I think, I don't even need to be in the bag, there's some pasters, stickers, pasters, stickers. Pastry stickers. These can stay. These are going to go. Those are good. Garbage. There you go. Plastic bag. Always handy to have. Garbage. And that's what's in my range bag. Um, I also carry an uh, ammo box to the range that's got some tools in it. Gun oil, patches, brushes, and then ammo. So that's what I cart to the range. Um, also on the side here, I've got rolled up sheets of paper. And I use these a lot of times when the target's all shot up full of holes. I'll staple this up and then I'll put my targets on top of this so I can see if I have um, you know, a brand new gun that hasn't been shot yet. I don't know where the bullets are hitting. It helps you find those first shots before you're sighted in. Uh, just, uh, you know, helps you, helps you keep your hair. And there we go. I think I got through it this time pretty good. Like I said, I I done this twice now, uh, the other day, and I didn't I didn't like how it came out. I didn't even this one. I had a little bit of running around more than I like to, but um, I got it done. I got it shown to you. There you go. That's what CW takes to the range. Let's see yours. God bless everybody. CW out.